Hi everyone, I'm Daniel Gleberman on the online education team, and today I'm going to be walking you through some of Hootsuite's advanced features. You can find more information about basic features and setup in our other how-to video, or more in-depth walkthroughs in any of our dozens of Hootsuite Academy videos. You can access those right from the dashboard in either the Help Center, or as a structured course in Hootsuite Academy. Today we'll be going over a whole bunch of things from org basics, creating posts, editing photos, auto-scheduling, bulk composer, analytics, boost, and inbox. For information about our other products like Insights, Ads, or Amplify, head over to Hootsuite Academy or reach out to a sales rep. As a pro user, you can manage teams and automation with orgs. Here, you can connect social accounts in a similar way to adding a private network, but with the benefit of being able to coordinate with multiple users, teams, and different permission levels. For example, a team of new employees that can craft a social post but require approval from a senior employee before sending it out. You can also set up tags and campaigns to easily track post analytics, which we'll cover a bit more when we get to the composer. Automation is great for making rules to automatically apply tags or automatically assign messages to certain teams or members. For example, if you want all your direct messages to go to your customer service team. Let's head over to the Composer and create some content to share with our local networks. We'll start by selecting the org, which makes selecting networks easier if you manage multiple businesses. Let's select Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. At this point, if you've created a campaign, you can select it and have all the settings apply to these posts without having to enter them manually. Next, we'll write out our message. If there's a URL, you'll see options to shorten or track your link. You also see previews on the right hand side and the remaining character counts per network up here. I want to add an image, so let's grab it from my desktop. You can also use the media library to add content from a connected app or stock image or GIF site, uh, but for today let's stick with the one we uploaded. We can add alt text for accessibility over here, and if we click the edit image button we can edit in Hootsuite's built in photo editor. What's nice about this is that it has preset crop sizes for each network. So if you want a square image for Instagram, just select the square option. If you're uploading to multiple networks, you can edit these individually per network later when they're scheduled in the planner. There are a whole bunch of other different photo editing options to play around with. Uh, you can add text, filters, anything you want. But let's just save our image and head back to the composer. If we scroll down, you'll see there are a few more options for your post. You can choose where on Facebook the post will go, either your timeline or an album, and there's an option to make this a promoted post if you want to put some dollars behind it. Just select your audience and your budget, and you should be good to go. We won't save this boost right now, so let's exit and get back to our post. There's also the option to add tags if you want to track your post in analytics, and set the location if you want people to be able to search for it. If you only want a certain audience to be able to see your post, you can use Facebook audience restrictions, and using this you can set your post to a certain city and only have people in that location be able to see it. Let's give everything a quick review, and we should be good to post it. The Post Now button has some more options if we want to do other things like save this as a draft, or send it and get right back into crafting the next post with the same networks. We're going to schedule this post for later though, so let's go over to that option over here. And you can pick any date in the future, and if you want to make changes between now and when it's set to post, you can edit it in the planner, which we'll get to in just a minute. If you don't know when to post, you can select the auto schedule option, and that allows Hootsuite to pick the best time. Uh, by default, it'll be 8am to 7pm Monday to Saturday for up to 5 posts a day but you can change these windows of time if you want. Uh, let's schedule our post for a couple days from now and head over to the planner to see it, as well as learn how to bulk upload posts. Both of those happen in the publisher area, so let's click over there in the left nav bar, and there we go. When we first arrive here, we'll be in the planner tab. This is where you can see your scheduled posts and edit them if you want. You can also create posts from here by clicking a time, or move posts around. This is a really powerful area with a lot of functionality, and the calendar layout makes it super easy to plan your posting schedule. 
Over in the content tab, you can sort your posts by status, including seeing saved drafts or anything that might need approval. In the area below, you can go through your content libraries and see content in connected apps. These are the same sources you can go through in the content library in your composer. But today I just want to focus on the bulk composer. This allows you to upload and schedule many posts at once using a spreadsheet. The easiest way to get started is to download the example and open it in Excel and add all your content. You can see in this preview here that the date and time you want to post go in the first column, with your message in the second and any URLs in the third. There's a little drop down here with any formatting rules you might need. I recommend taking a look at them and making sure your file is formatted correctly before uploading. Once you've got your file ready, make sure it's saved as a CSV and click to upload it. I've got mine right here. I edited mine in Google Sheets instead of Excel, but as long as you save it as a CSV, it really doesn't matter what program you use. Next, we'll select the social networks we want to post to. I'm just going to pick Twitter as an example and we'll choose not to shorten the links for now. Click Review Messages, and we can preview all the posts we just uploaded before sending them to be scheduled. Let's click on this post, and you can see it looks similar to the composer, but a little bit more condensed. You've got your social network over here, and your text here, so you can easily make changes if you need to. There's also an option to add media, so let's grab an image from our desktop, and upload it. You can add location tags and confirm the time you want it scheduled. This time here is from the CSV file, but we can always change it if we want. We can hit the preview button to see what it looks like, and hit schedule to finalize. These will all be visible in the planner tab later, just like regular posts, if we need to make any changes later. The last tab in the publisher we want to see is promote. Here we can put some money behind a post on Facebook or on LinkedIn. There are two options here to set up promoted posts. You can either set up automated boosts if you want your post to be promoted based on criteria you set, or if you know which content you want promoted, you can just go over here and select a single post to promote. And then you can target your promoted content based on custom objectives, triggers, audiences, locations, and more. Boosting your content from here makes tracking the results of your campaign super easy, and you can do that in Hootsuite Analytics. Let's head over to the Analytics page now. There are a few broad options in Quick Views that let you see a high level overview of all your content, as well as the ability to create custom reports with tons of different options for customizing your data. You can also add other apps from our app library for specific use cases. I'll walk you through a couple of these options, but I highly encourage you to click around the custom reports to get a feel for everything that's there. Let's start with post performance. Here you can see all of your social posts and their engagement metrics. Everything can be sorted by social network, org, and date range, and you can change what columns are visible if you want, like if you want to see how many people reacted with the wow option, or track organic reach versus paid reach, or whatever. You can also filter by tags or campaign. And all metrics can be exported in a variety of formats up here. Team performance lets you track actions made by people within your org. And other options like the Amplify leaderboard will appear if you use other Hootsuite products. The report section is where you'll probably get the most use out of. Start by creating a new report. There are tons of templates for reports and they're all really easy to add or remove metrics from to make them your own. The overview reports are filled with metrics you're probably already familiar with, like posts, engagement, or likes, and they're available per network, so you can have a report for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and one for LinkedIn. You can also start with a mixed overview to compare each network. And if you look up here at the top, there are tabs for different templates for each network. For example, under Facebook, you can track audience growth for pages, and as you scroll down, you'll see even more templates, so you can find the one that best fits your use case. They're also available for Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and can be connected to our other products like Amplify. You can even track how your team and org are doing with things like response times or assignments. And if none of these fit what you want, you can always start with a blank custom report and just select the metrics you want. Let's get back to the Getting Started tab and create a new Facebook overview report. You can see all the metrics laid out in a grid with a date range at the top. What's cool about the date ranges here is that you can select another time period to compare your data. 
just like the other reports we saw. These can be exported, but you can also set them up to email reports to you or any stakeholders on a weekly or monthly cadence. You can even add branding to your report if you want. You can also share your report with teammates so that they can see analytics in real time. Uh, analytics can be moved around just by grabbing them, or you can configure them to be different sizes or different graph types. And if you add a new metric, you can choose from any of the options we saw in the templates and a whole lot more. There are so many options here, you should definitely take a few minutes to click around and explore what options are available to track whatever metrics you want. Uh, but that's enough of analytics for now. Let's move over to assignments. Here, you can track tasks that have been assigned or resolved. Assignments are great for keeping track of posts or replies that require attention, or just to surface and make notes on important content. You can easily send assigned content to connected apps to track them, or reassign them to another team member if you need. To create an assignment, you can either set up an automated assignment from your org, or if you go to streams, you can assign it manually from the dropdown. And if you want something similar with replies or private messages, you can use Inbox. Inbox is right next to the assignments in the navigation. And here you can see and respond to private messages on Facebook and Twitter, as well as comments on Facebook and LinkedIn pages. It's really easy to respond and manage incoming messages from here. Messages will default to the unassigned folder, but you can assign them to go to team members if you want. Those will show up in the assigned folder and the assigned to me folder if they were assigned to you. Once they're done, they'll show up in the done folder, uh, but if you dismiss it by accident and you want to reopen it, you can just go and click and it'll go back to its previous status. So when looking at new messages, you can sort through them by network, as well as if they're private or public, and even by who they were assigned to. You can also sort them by oldest and newest, and let's just set it to all so I can show you how it works. Here in a message, you can see the history of the chat and respond to it. You can also add tags to messages if you want to report on them later in analytics. If you aren't sure how to answer, you can always reassign the message to another team member up here and resolve it when you're done. That's it for today. If you want to learn more about a specific area we covered, uh, just remember you can click over to Hootsuite Academy or the Help Center, and we have tons of videos that go really in depth into pretty much every feature. See you later.